Good thing about Neil stabilizers, I don't have to disturb the run. I can just go back and click it on. Locations with good huts. We've got three huts right here. We're in a big residential area, so we only are using conna bears. We're not going to put leg holes. We've got another rat over here. One trap with uh, no activity. Back to the stabilizers. I'm not finding the run again. Keep the set good, the trap's the right place. I cloud it up when I'm walking. I'll keep producing on this homeowners association's lake. We've got some skim ice, our weather's getting cold, my rats are priming up. And I'll keep showing what I'm doing. Now there's a rat run with the stabilizer and you'll see the air bubbles. The skim ice makes it really super to pick out your active runs. Uh, it's a no-brainer when you see those bubbles there's results are in the trap and there again that's one of Neil Graves uh, stabilizers for deep water it makes it real easy for setting and resetting let me get this wrap and we'll continue on here we got a super run I didn't have a colony trap the other day so I put a 110 for I could produce I'm not gonna leave fur out here for one night but tonight I'm going to upgrade with a colony trap. Make sure my doors are working. I don't want to give no freebies away. I always, that's my one hint, make sure these doors open and shut. Uh, these are great tools. They're not just kid traps. We'll pull our conna bear, have a wrap. Feel the run. Got to move it out just a little. I'm not sure if there's a hole there. Actually, moving it up. Make sure my door's working freely with my finger. And now we might have a double or a triple tomorrow. And I have a few set up at the other end where I dropped off colonies yesterday, so we'll see what we got up there. Here again, we have another good location on this homeowner's. Didn't have all my equipment. Anywhere you got a tree along these open banks, it's a good bet there's always a rat run. to our hole see what happens tomorrow here was a super uh, run yesterday put a colony in here there's where colonies pay three rats We're gonna finish this job up, move on to more production trapping. 
like I said, these basket traps have a great place. This, I think, come from the snare shop. It's a collapsible one. I think Darren Peel makes them for them. Get that right back in this run. And I got like four more up this bank that were in smoke and run. Another three. Wow, that really adds to your day. You want to get those traps firm, pressed up in the run. Get multiple catches, nothing will knock them over. The goldness, that was three in the one trap, three, a sprung conibear and a single. If I was using all 110s, the best I would have done was three rats. And I don't even know what my pile's starting just around this one lake starting today. It's growing, it's productive. Time's money, guys. I got weekends off, working full time. I gotta make it work and this is how you do it. I had a quick little run here at these colony traps. I had three threes. So you figure, I got six rats. From two colony traps. If I had one tens, I'd only have two rats. I know that's simple math. Some people are rolling their eyes, but at six dollars a piece, 24 extra dollars in a check. It pays to use the right equipment. And those calling traps work. I'll take a minute here too while we're out in the field. I think these are loppy air, but I've been buying them from uh, Neil Graves. So we pan back over here. You'll see most of this is yards with ornamental trees. People don't want you cutting their bushes. I live in a populated area. Uh, about every 110 works. Just so happens I grabbed a BMI. They're nice. Yeah, they're all nice when they have muskrat in them. Once you get your 110 set, though, zoom in here on the niceness of these stabilizers. Once you're set trap, you put the spring over. They come down in the groove, lock in in here. They're stable, guys. Uh, you can put that up. I don't really worry about chain in it, my name tags on it. But now, on those deep runs that are up to your shoulders, I can station it, go in, it's in place. I make a catch. I reach down, get the muskrat, reset my trap. Once you get a little bit of practice with these, now I've got the water all churned up. I can't quite see. I could reach up in the hole, but I went over my gloves yesterday. Who wants to do that? Take my trap back over the stabilizer, go down. Once you get in the habit of doing it, boom. You have to bring the spring up. These are a great tool. If you're boat trapping or something, yeah, I guess they're a lot of weight. But when you're doing golf courses, housing developments, in Northeast here, it's so populated where I live, I'm making adjustments. A little bit of pink paint, they're harder to see than you think. Uh, even with the pink, I have trouble finding them. Uh, the downfall, somebody can clean you out pretty good and they're getting a bonus. But most of these places are begging me to trap instead of paying a nuisance trapper like me in the summer. So pretty much four or five houses with the damage are giving me a lot of uh, 
security watching my back for me. And we'll keep going here. First stop for the morning, 14. We're going to continue setting traps and checking a few more.